So I went ahead and gave Chris Paul six inches. I got the idea from this clip from the Through the Wire podcast. Seven foot Draymond Green or a six five Christopher Emmanuel Paul. They only gave him five inches, but I'm gonna go ahead and give him six. We'll just say he's wearing shoes. I also gave him some rebounding badges to help him out because obviously he's taller, so he should rebound better. After every single season that Chris Paul does not win a championship, I'm going to give him another inch. So we're gonna see how many inches Chris Paul can actually take before winning an NBA championship. So here's the rotation for the Suns. I'm not sure why Crowder's still starting, but I guess we're just gonna rock with it. I'm sure the Phoenix Suns will be just fine. All right, I gotta make a video on Luka. It's about time. This is getting ridiculous. And there's Chris Paul and all NBA third team. Not bad. And the Phoenix Suns are in the play-in tournament. Okay. The Suns won 40 games. Are, are they worse with Chris Paul getting six inches? How did Chris Paul play? I mean, he averaged 21, 11, and six rebounds a game. I can't hit on the stats three. He played pretty good. So I'm not really sure of who or what to blame here because it seems like they played good. They just didn't win basketball games. If they actually somehow blow this, that would be insane. Chris Paul is going to get screened right here probably by Shea or he's going to, you know, he's trying to guard Shea right there. He's going to, oh, great strip by Chris Paul. He's got the ball. And now Chris Paul's got to go ahead and knock down some free throws. First one's good. If you knock this one down, you don't win. But, oh, he smoked it. Yep, he definitely just smoked that one. Giddy's waiting for the screen. He's going to try to drive on campaign. Nothing really there. They're all going to post up, get the mismatch. He's getting double team. Luthor for three. Got it. Tie game. Got to get down the court here. Chris Paul pulling the midi. Oh, he got actually, not, that wasn't a bad look. Well, it's all up to the overtime sim cast now, and the game is still relatively close. 30 seconds tie game. Okay. Chris Paul trying to drive there on Shea Leg. Oh, how do you smoke that? Five seconds left. Shea with the ball. Chris Paul guarding. That's some great defense right there. Gives it to Luthor for three. Oh, and we're going to another overtime. We are back with the overtime sim cast once again, and it looks like Phoenix took care of business this time. I actually forgot we have to win another playing game. I don't know why I forgot that, but here we go. Well, at least they won this game comfortably, so they're going to be going to the playoffs. Beating the Lakers. Why are so many good teams just not? Well, I don't think the Lakers are that good, but you you, you know what I mean. AD and LeBron. Now we got to play Memphis in the first round. It's going to be a tough team. This would be an insane upset. John with the ball trying to drive. He's getting double team. Going to kick it to Clark. Going to give it to Dylan Brooks for three. Bang! That's a big shot. Chris Paul gonna use the screen. Gonna fade from three. You're not at the park. What kind of comp shot is that? You better pray Jaron Jackson misses this free throw. You guys are cooked, man. It's tough. Simulate the rest of the playoffs and the Bulls win the championship. Okay, that's interesting. And now Chris Paul will be getting seven inches. Let's see if it actually leads him to a championship because six inches didn't get the job done. And now Cam Johnson's gonna be getting the start, so we'll see if that changes anything. Well, look at that. Finally, someone else winning MVP. I did not change that. It was just finally somebody else. And Chris Paul is not going to find himself on any NBA team. Very interesting stuff, except for all defensive second team. And the Suns are in the play-in tournament again. I don't get it. I don't get how this team is so bad with a 91, a 95. By the way, I forgot to mention this is Clippers Chris Paul. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, this is not current Chris Paul. If you're wondering why he's like 28 years old or 29. Anyway, it looks like we're going to be actually getting to the playoffs, so that's a good start. And we got the Warriors in the first round. Chris Paul versus Steph Curry. And now the Warriors drop three. I was also going to mention the guy who also plays pretty good basketball when the Bears are around. Last time, last time. Last time. It looks like the 2K Sim does not want to see Chris Paul and the Suns win, man. It's it's pretty sad, and the Sixers win the championship. And now Chris Paul is going to be taking eight inches, and he'll be a free agent. So we'll see where he goes. And Chris Paul did decide to leave the Suns, and now he's a member of the Indiana Pacers with Miles Turner, Kyle Kuzma, and Chris Duarte and Benedict Mathurin. But still, this is a very interesting team to join. Well, somehow Chris Paul is going to have to make this work and contend for a championship with a bunch of 70s. So uh, looks like he's in a lot of trouble. Well, that one year for any other player to shine but Luka. Uh, that's gone. And Chris Paul is going to find himself on all NBA second team, probably stat padding, I'd assume. Oh, would you look at that? The Pacers as the fifth seed. Not bad at all. Somehow just playing better with a worse team, but I guess Chris Paul is just getting the best at everybody. I don't know. Let's see if Chris Paul could take down the Boston Celtics. And it looks like he's going to do it in six games. Very impressive from Chris Paul right here. Now they got to play the Cavs, who they win every series, so this is going to be tough. No point even going to Simcast. They're up 3 0. So yeah, again, no one beats the Cavs. It just how the game works. But we're going to sit with the playoffs and the Rockets win the championship. Jabari Smith Jr. finals MVP. Okay. And now we're moving Chris Paul to getting nine inches. Chris, it's getting kind of crazy, man. You got to start putting some wins together. I know you're on a tough team or a bad team, but we got to make it happen. I think most people in the NBA universe want to see you win a championship. And if you can't win it off these circumstances, nobody can really help you. Back to Luka winning MVPs yet again. Chris Paul found himself on all NBA third team. Not bad. And while the Pacers found themselves not in the playoffs at all. So this is a, a phenomenal storyline. Chris 
Chris Paul's past four years right here just seem to make no sense. I have no idea what's going on with this man's career at this point. And I guess we have nothing else to do but just simulate the playoffs because Chris Paul can't win given an advantage. I don't get it. Wow, Carly. I mean, listen, if Carly's going to drop 36 and 14, now Chris Paul has 10 inches. I just, I, I don't know what it's going to take for this man to actually win a championship. Chris Paul is going to make this video long for no reason, and he's just not going to win a championship until he's 7 7. All right, well, look at that. John Moran winning an MVP. And Chris Paul just still rotting away on third team. And Chris Paul just still not making the like, what was the point of this video? Like, literally, what's the point? Like, can you just get any better at basketball, or am I just going to watch you suck for the next decade? And the Grizzlies win the championship. John Morant finals MVP. Chris Paul now has 11 inches. I just don't, like, I... I I guess we should raise his rebounding ratings. I guess so. We'll make his defensive rebound an 80. We'll make his offensive rebound like a 60. And it looks like Chris Paul decided to lead the Pacers. Thank God, because this team sucks. And he decided to join the Sixers with Tyrese Maxey and Embiid. Embiid's getting older, but this is a good big three to join. I like the addition. If this team can't win the championship or at least contend for the championship, then I don't know what will. You got two 90s, almost a 90 with Embiid. Like, he just won MVP a few years ago, I believe. Like, come on, man. You got to get this done. All right, we got LaMelo Ball winning the MVP. Chris Paul just no to be found on the NBA teams made for a defensive team? No, still doesn't make that. And the Sixers didn't make the... Bro, I, Chris Paul's a curse. Chris Paul is literally a curse. Any team he goes to, they suck. That's just, that's what happens. There's literally no other way of explaining this. He just, he, he makes everywhere he goes worse. It just seems to be the truth. Or at least it seems to be the more inches we give him, the worse he gets. That's what it seems to be. Which I guess is kind of debunking just because you make a player taller does not mean he's going to actually be better at basketball. But now, Chris Paul is going to have 12 more inches. Chris Paul just randomly going up to a 96 overall. Okay, that's cool. And beats down to an 85, so uh, it's looking pretty rough for this team. This guy, Rudy Riley, is a 19-year-old 86 overall. What the hell? He was drafted with the number one pick in the draft. This guy's insane. Well, I guess we have help after all because Chris Paul being seven foot is not helping. Lamella Ball just randomly on the Warriors now, winning MVP. Chris Paul, Defensive Player of the Year. Finally, the inches are coming to fruition. And the Sixers are the third seed. Okay, we got a tough road to go through, but we'll be fine. Got to play the Heat in the first round, and they have Ja Morant. What? I don't know why why this went seven games with Chris Paul guarding Ja, but I guess it had to, but we got it done. If we could somehow get by Cleveland, I guarantee we'll win the championship. Like, this is literally the final. This is game seven of the finals. It's the same thing. Maxi trying to drive, giving it to our good center. Okay, I mean, you know what? I can't hate on that. I can't. I cannot hate on that. If we could just get one more bucket here to give us a cushion, a little bit of insurance, that would help out a lot, but Chris Paul actually has to touch the basketball instead of Maxi every single time. Maxi trying to drive, kicks it to Nelson. Nelson pump faking Goes up, gets blocked by Mobley. What are we doing? Wallace trying to drive, spin. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maxi just got put in a blender. That was insanely nasty. Three seconds left. We gotta get into something. We, we gotta we gotta inbound the basketball. Give it to Maxi. Maxi just taking his damn time. A deep three. Smoke. Like, what are we doing? Just wasting these years of Chris Paul. I just don't understand why we're so ass in crunch time. I'm so mad I forgot to even show you when the championship. It was LaMelo. My bad. But, like, I just don't understand. Is 13 inches not enough for Chris Paul? Is, is this not enough? And Chris Paul is not getting any younger. The man is 35 years old. Like, it's getting bad. Luka Donna just randomly on the Timberwolves just snagging MVPs. Chris Paul back-to-back -back defensive player of the year. That's good to see. And the Sixers. Don't tell me they're in the playing tournament, bro. This is getting bad. And thankfully, we are going to beat Boston, so we're actually going to be in the playoffs. Now we got to play Brooklyn in the first round, who are not good at all. Well, never mind, I lied. Yeah, no, nah, I, I just lied. I just lied. They're way better than us. I don't know what I know. And the Cavaliers won the championship if you cared, but I don't think you do. He might actually retire before we actually get to him winning a championship. And look at Riley going up to a 93 overall. Can you be good at basketball and just carry Chris Paul? Because I don't know what else the problem is other than, I guess, having it beat as a 79, but like, we're still a good ass team, man. We have a crazy big three. All right, well, Lester Bosch is going to go ahead and win MVP. Chris Paul is going to keep stacking these up by default pretty much at this point and these all nba second teams these are just pointless awards because the thing we're looking for is a championship and just say he's the ninth seed like chris paul is the ninth seed in the nba at seven foot two if they lose this playing tournament game i'm done i swear to god i'm done you're lucky i was about to say you are lucky and now somehow cleveland's in a play-in tournament game like what is going on in the nba mobley for three banged it. Yeah, y'all are going home, bro. Y'all are a two-pack of ass. I mean, I really can't blame you. Maxi just doesn't pass you the ball at any of the hopping games. We haven't seen Chris Paul, like, touch the ball one time. He, he purposely, Chris Paul for three? 
your ass, bro. Yeah, you're, you're you're done. I'm done with you, bro. Yeah, this is it. Final year. You can have all the inches. Just if if you don't win your ass, if you do, I mean, you're still ass. It, it really doesn't change much. Hey, would you look at that? Chris Paul winning MVP. I just hope it equated to winning basketball games, buddy. And the Sixers, the first seed. Wow. Oh my God, that's so shocking. Everyone else played good too. Look at Riley dropping 26, 12, and six. He could have won MVP too. And we got the Pacers in the first round going up against Albert. And thankfully, Chris Paul is gonna overcome a 3-0 deficit. That would have been just i mean listen bro i don't care if you would have lost here either way <laughs> like i really thought at this point like you're a loser bro now we got the Cavs in the second round gonna be tough and we're getting past the Cavs in seven that was scary now we got the bucks who do they got they got cameron whitmore josh giddy jaden i they got a good ass team and another hard fought seven game series he won every single game in game seven i gotta give him props so now it all comes down to the nba finals chris paul versus luca i got my money on luca i'm not gonna lie well congrats to chris paul for getting his fairy tale ending but yeah, this ring just feels kind of fake, but you know, it is part of the video, so he, he got it, I guess. Is this how he's going to be accepting the finals of EP trophy? <laughs> this is the angle we're getting. Okay, okay, the camera's going to go up. I was just making sure. I, I didn't know how that was going to go. Check out the boss score here. Had a Chris Paul 14 points. Like, just show pedestrian. I mean, the four other guys scored almost 20 points, so I guess I got to give him that. If you made it here to the end of the video, you watched this video for all the right reasons. And if you're not here, you know why you clicked on the video in the first place.